Attention everyone, you might soon be receiving $1,400 monthly. Yes, it's possible that Uncle Sam is lining his pockets with your money each and every month. But when will the money begin to flow, and who is receiving it? Stay with me for a moment, because I'm going to explain these revolutionary stimulation checks in detail. You should not miss this video whether you are concerned about the state of the economy, or if you are just trying to make ends meet. I say we jump right in. Hello and thank you for tuning in to Stimulus Updates, the channel where all the newest information about stimulus packages is delivered. Ali here, and I'm happy to tell you that we've got some fantastic news to share with you today. Monthly payments of $1,400 to qualified Americans are the main component of this program. This represents a substantial change from prior one-time payments, which may offer greater ongoing assistance to individuals who require it. All right, then I'll explain the main ideas behind this new stimulus package. We will go over the criteria, the amount, the start date, and the anticipated duration of the payments. Possible effects on the economy and answers to commonly asked issues will also be covered. Allow me to begin by discussing eligibility. Could you please tell me who is eligible to get the $1,400 monthly stimulus payments? Single filers earning up to $75,000 per year. Individuals filing as the head of. Household can earn up to $112,500 yearly. A married couple can file jointly if their annual income is up to $150,000. A tax return for 2020 or 2021 is required of you. In order to qualify, you need to be a U.S. citizen, permanent resident, or qualified alien resident. Dependents beyond the age of 17th may now be eligible for their own benefits, though there is no age limit in place. Your social security number needs to be current. Keep in mind that these income levels are calculated using your GI or adjusted gross income. Do not fret at this time if your salary is higher than these limitations. A phase-out range is in place, in which you might still get some money. Your payout will be decreased by $5 for every $100 you earn above the threshold. This implies that married couples may still receive a portion, albeit a reduced amount, if their combined income is up to $160,000, heads of household can receive up to $120,000, and single filers can earn up to $80,000. Having discussed who is eligible, the quantity and frequency of payments can be discussed. People who qualify will get $1,400 monthly, as the headline says. Compared to earlier stimulus initiatives, which only provided one-time payouts, this is a huge boost. Additional monthly help of up to $5,600 for a household of four is possible. But things start to get interesting now. The payments have been approved for a six-month term and their extension might be subject to congressional approval and economic conditions. This means that a family of four might get up to $33,600 during the first six months, and an eligible individual could earn up to $8,400. Many families may benefit greatly from that size of financial assistance. Let us now turn to the topic that occupies the thoughts of all. When can we expect to begin receiving these payments? The Treasury Department has stated that the initial payment round is expected to commence no later than 30 days after the bill is signed first funds could be available in bank accounts by mid-May if the president signs the measure next week. Those who have their information on file with the IRS will be the first to receive the rollout, which is anticipated to occur in phases, much like past stimulus payouts. For individuals who do not have a direct deposit account, printed checks will be sent. The remaining eligible beneficiaries will receive economic impact payment cards. Within the first three weeks of the program's debut, the majority of payments are expected to be distributed by the Treasury. Then, every month during the program's lifetime, payments will be made. Here we will answer some of the most common queries regarding the new stimulus payments. Let's pause for a second and talk about how these monthly stimulus payments could affect the economy. The long-term consequences of this policy are a topic of debate among economic experts. On the one hand, those who support direct consumer spending believe that it will encourage spending, strengthen local economies, and lessen the likelihood of a more severe economic recession. A considerable increase in consumer spending could be achieved by monthly stimulus payments. Small businesses could be able to stay afloat, evictions and foreclosures could be avoided, and household finances could be stabilized with this steady flow of income. The consequences for our understanding of Economic policy could be fascinating as it amounts to generating a temporary universal basic income. The possible inflationary consequences of pumping that much money into the economy are a concern for some economists too. The effects on the national debt and the program's viability in the long run are other points of contention. The immediate advantages are obvious, but we must exercise caution regarding the consequences in the future. The rising national debt and inflation are serious problems. 
we must also take into account the potential effects on productivity and labor market participation. There are no simple solutions to this. Complicated problem. Economists, politicians, and regular people will all be keeping a careful eye on this program's financial effects in the months to come. What follows is a discussion of the steps you should take to guarantee the receipt of your benefits should you be qualified. Submit your most current tax return. Please submit your 2020 and 2021 tax returns without delay. Make sure the IRS has the most current information on your direct deposit. Your payments will be sent to you promptly if this is done. For program news and updates, be sure to check the official IRS website. Those who do not normally file their taxes because of low income should be. On the lookout for announcements on non-filer tools or programs. Keep calm. Because there are millions of payments to handle, it can be a while before everyone gets their money. Let us review the important aspects of this breaking news as we come to a close. Monthly stimulus checks of $1,400 will be distributed to eligible Americans. The anticipated start date for payments is mid-May. The program's initial approval is for six months and an extension is possible if needed. Income, tax filing status, and citizenship residency are the three criteria that determine eligibility. Most eligible receivers will get payments automatically. We shall keep a careful eye on how this program affects the economy. This is definitely a story that is evolving and we will make sure to provide you with updates as new information becomes available. To keep up with the newest news on these stimulus payments and other key subjects, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Please let me know your thoughts before we leave. How do you feel about these stimulus payments that come out every month? What are your thoughts on their potential economic boost? If you are eligible, how would you spend the additional funds? Post your ideas in the space provided and we can start a conversation. Okay, everyone, that's it for now. Stay tuned for the next video. I appreciate you watching The Daily Scoop.